We were better at communicating. I mean, you guys watched the game. In the first game, we left gaps open multiple times, turned guys loose uh, in the red zone in coverage. We were much better. We still have ways to go, but we were improved. I'm pleased with the improvements we made from week one to week two. But those improvements um, aren't to a point now to where we can be successful for the remainder of the year. The other day, I talked to the team about it and how important it is and the way this culture was built. And when we were done, Brock walked up and put his arm around me and said, Coach, you know, really all I have is discipline and toughness because I'm really not that good. He goes, I just kind of live on discipline and toughness. And I said, well, there's two things. One, that's true. Two, you are pretty good because you choose to do that. And, and you are tougher than most people that step on the field. So, yes, those are throwback guys from the day. Yeah, yeah I, I give them every bit of a B this week because in the second half, they were physical and covered guys up in the run game, uh, and I might have said this after the game, but our, our defensive line took the game over in the second half, and our offensive line and running backs took the game over in the second half. Big physical runner, uh, he's, he's maturing some, we know that. Uh, he actually uh, made some guys miss in space, which was encouraging. Um, the, you know, Arizona State had um, skill, and so I was encouraged by that. Um, I think he understands the type of runner he is, and we need to work around his skill set, and then we need him to approve a little bit in each one of those areas. I, I would say, you know, I never really thought of it that way, but we see so many different looks now. We see four down, we see three down, we see three down with mug backers, we see four down with walked up backers, we see three, three stack, and nobody stands still anymore. So it's, it's become somewhat complicated for centers, just like it has quarterbacks. I mean, I never really thought about that, but I would say it might be just as complicated now for them over the last five to six years as it is for quarterbacks with the different designs and defenses. Uh, you know, I think it's interesting what uh, Harbaugh is doing at Michigan with quarterbacks. And, I mean, I don't know anything about it, don't know anything about the quarterbacks, don't know anything about Coach Harbaugh, I don't know anything about anything. All I know is is what I read where he said, I have two guys that both look like that they're good enough to play, I'm going to play them both. And I think sometimes as offensive line, we just don't ever think about doing that. But we have other guys that can play, so why not play them some? And that's what, where that came from. It's a huge, huge factor. People discredit, dis, uh, discount it, saying that it's just coaches talk. It's not. If you don't focus, it's like I told the team last night. You guys got a choice to focus and, and uh, understand our game plan and practice hard this week to play the best you can Saturday. Or you don't. You can think that you're t playing a team that's not as good as you. You can think that you're get, trying to get ready to go on an open week and maybe you're going to play the next team. And the truth of the matter is you won't play very well.